thought I'd give you a little update what I've been working on here. Um, again, I've been doing quite a bit of time with the tools and also uh, back with the construction company building. So it's a real intricate project that we're uh, that we're on now. We actually got two of these going at the same time right now, but this is the one I'm kind of overseeing. Uh, you can see my elevation plan here, got all my uh, elevations laid out, and I did do that all in centimeter because our blocks are in centimeters, so it makes it real quick and real easy. With my laser rod, I can set those. Here I got our lighting plan, so obviously I'm trying to keep that out so that we can uh, integrate all our conduits, we usually run half inch conduits to all our spots that we need to get our lighting to, so it doesn't pose for a problem at the end of our project. Um, got an intricate little bar here. You can see quite a bit of stainless uh, granite countertops. That's going to be a real nice setup. Sink, hot and cold water there. And uh, this is kind of what's going to look like when we're all said and done. So uh, hats off to our designers. They do a phenomenal job laying out these kinds of projects, giving a nice direct visual for our customers. Uh, so you can see here um, multiple levels. You can see the pavilion here. Um, this will be the pavilion. It's going to have a fireplace with a big screen TV. All the audio will be hooked up, so we've got provisions for that. A uh, nice little water feature there with some stepping stones walking through it. And again, the visual is just phenomenal. Uh, you can see there the bar and the grill area there. Hot tub pad down below. All the stairs are going to be in brownstone. So we'll mix in a little bit of natural with, uh, with interlock block. You can see there, kind of an overall. So I'll just show you kind of where we're at as far as building process. We added a, um, a stairwell or a, a hatchway area down into the basement. They never had one, so for ease of access to the basement and also for safety, we have here the uh, pavilion all installed. Again, concrete poured. You can see out in the back there, we got our forms poured for the, uh, they're all set up for the concrete. A lower patio area. See that nice banding, how that really accents the, the block. And you can see everywhere you look, we got uh, little stub ups for our conduit with the, for the lighting. And here we're ready to pour. I've actually got concrete coming here in another hour or so. A little progress here. Got the uh, all the stainless is in. Coming to template that um, Friday actually. We're going to be doing a uh, undermounted sink there. That's our drain and water line in. And over here, neat little sunken area. I know the lighting's not the greatest. Sunken area for a hot tub. With a built-in bench there. I can't see it in this light. Got the nice gray banding in there, really crisp looking. Our way out, lower patio. Neat little thing we're gonna do here. We got a little crown in the middle and we're gonna actually do a permeable border on the edge. So that'll act as our drain. I can have any um, unsightly drains on this on this whole entire project. All the water will run to the outside edges. Again, down to our uh, fireplace area there. So really neat. Pillars coming along over here. Nice set of stairs headed down this way. Over to that hatchway that we put in. Again, this was all just fill. Dug that out, cut that, got that poured. So, quite extensive. And then again, our crossfire injection out here. So that's going to be a real neat unit there. Got it hooked up with my gas. Pretty slick setup. Uh, that should be impressive. That's over 300,000 BTUs. I got my chases up through there for my audio visual. That's a two inch. Then I got a one inch for running power up to the mantle for anything else I want to plug in up there. 